So welcome, I'm in Johannesburg in Bramfontein and I'm with Frank here. Frank is what I call one of Johannesburg's gatekeepers. I met him a year ago on an exclusive tour of Ponte City, which is one of Joburg's iconic buildings that stretches up in the city. And very soon I realized that he's somebody who cares deeply about the city and wants to make a difference. But now, Frank, tell me a little bit, how did this start? How did you get to the place where you're at now with the work that you're doing? Um, I think um, for me it was more of just like being tired um, of people painting Johannesburg as like with one big brush of it being like this um, crime city um, and I felt like we had a story and um, we had a lot to also see. So um, and I took it up to myself to just make sure that we challenge those people's perceptions about the city. I mean the city is, is not all heaven, it has a beautiful um, side to it as well and so I took it up to myself to just show the beauty that your has nice to offer. Which I think is important, and I think what you've said is, is also very important, that we need to be honest. Joburg yeah. is in a tough space at the moment, in many ways South Africa is, but Joburg is in a place where it, it feels tired, there's a lot of stress, um, it almost feels like there's a lot of trauma, yeah. and so I think the work that you're doing is so vital in that space. But where do you feel Joburg is at the moment? Uh, Joburg is a, a very, very crucial point where things can either go perfect or go worse. So it's like at that middle point um, of um, of, um, it's almost a turning point um, at this point, that's where Jobbik is at. There's a lot of exciting things happening um, uh, that need a lot of support that could also potentially change Jobbik. Um, and if those things are also not put, um, um, supported, then that could also take a different turn into what Jobbik is. So it's a required, um, I'll call it equilibrium. Yes, that's interesting. Yeah. And I think at these points where you call it pivot points, a lot of the time people look to government and say yeah. it's the government's responsibility. Yeah. But often what causes change in society are the poets, the artisans, the dancers, the musicians, the gatekeepers who are day and night saying let's 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 work for something that's different. So just tell me briefly what it is that you're doing in the city of Johannesburg at the moment. Um, so we've got a couple of experiences within the city of Johannesburg with the idea of just challenging people's perceptions of the city. Um, we've got um, our main thing of our experiences is to just enlighten the hidden gems in Johannesburg, the places that you will never find um, online if you're looking about, which are not spoken about, which don't get to be um, exposed out there. So we've got um, interesting tours through the Makers Valley, which is a very, very beautiful space um, um, in the valley. Um, and um, the idea is to just expose a lot of the makers in there that you might never have ever encountered in any of the markets, in the famous markets that you go to um, in, in Georgia. So Frank along with some of his friends, they really are expert curators and they curate experiences that take in the broad spectrum of Johannesburg. So not just some of the beautiful sites but some of the more challenging areas. But being able to find the, the elements of, of, of beauty in that. Someone once said hope is, is calling out beauty from its place of hiding. And there's a lot of beauty that just feels like it's in hiding in Johannesburg. And what Frank and some of his companions are doing is essentially mining that, that beauty and reminding people of what is out there. And often told through the stories of people in Johannesburg. Um, yesterday I had the privilege of joining Frank and some of his friends uh, through Makers Valley. And it's a part of Johannesburg where there are artisans and gallery owners and potters, all kinds of people who are really getting along and, and using their crafts, their skills, their talents. And this tour gives you an opportunity to meet some of those people. So that's, that I think is a, is a growing aspect. I think the key question that many people are asking at the moment in South Africa is what gives you hope? What, what keeps you hopeful for South Africa at the moment? What keeps you doing what you're doing? Okay, so personally for me what really really gives me hope um, is the people. So Jobek is a very, very migrant city um, and the people still gives Jobek a chance. The visitors, the people coming to find opportunities in the business space. So that for me is the hopeful part um, um, and that things will definitely change for the better. Um, and um, it's not going to take one night, it's going to take a lot of time. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get there. It's incredible. Well, if you, if you live in the city of Johannesburg or if you're going to be visiting Johannesburg, I'd highly advise to speak with Frank and get him to put together something, a tour, an experience. Allow them to curate something that will really speak to you about the history and the culture and the people of the city of Joburg. Um, I've enjoyed my walking tour of Bamfordine today, yesterday Makers Valley and again Ponte City. Very interesting in different parts of Jebek. So, right, good luck for everything that you're doing. Cool. Thank you.